Um, I guess I'll start off. Yeah. So you just came from a dystopian TV show yes. to a Wiccan TV show. Yeah. What's What's that been like? What's that transition been like? Do you know what? I feel really happy and grateful that I finally get to be in on the action. Because um, I've done the first show I did was a sci-fi show too. Mm. They had they had the three T's: telekinesis, mm. teleportation, telepathy, <laughs> and I was the lone human. Um, and then in *Into the Badlands*, everybody's doing like amazing martial arts and I'm the doctor um, <laughs> so it's really nice to actually like now I have the power yeah it's the first time that I've that I've been able to do do the stuff so I feel I feel really I'm really excited about it actually but your character is also very into the science and mm -hmm. the biological of this whole magic Can yeah you talk to me about a little bit about that I really enjoy that because I think it's nice to have the perspective of someone wanting to find, embracing it, but also being like, but how is this a thing? You know, how, what's what's the, logis the, the logical explanation? Um, so it's fun to get to be that person. Every now and again throughout the episodes we'll have, um, you know, either whether it's a demon or kind of a bit of a demon or a sample of goo that makes us able to get her hands on and then kind of experiment on. And um, It's fun to tie in those things where you can go, well, it has this component, and in the real world, this component reacts with this. And so if we use enough of it, <laughs> we might be able to, um, to get rid of it. So it's quite fun to do those, to do those things, I think. Thank yeah, you. So do we kind of see her struggle a little bit with understanding that there has to be a biological reason, but at the same time, it's still magic, and it I think, doesn't necessarily I think there's have to have there's definitely a hesitation in the beginning. Um, but there's not really that much time. You know, we're, we're really thrust into now the underworld has awakened and they know that the charmed ones are here and, you know, we're kind of watching our backs the whole time. So there's not a whole lot of time to question it because you just keep having to prove yourself again and again and actually, no, I am a witch um, and, and the stakes are high. So that's it's, it's really fun. It's such a fun show. What attracted you to the reboot? Like when you saw that, when you gave me the script, what attracted you to that? Well, do you know what? For the first time, <laughs> this feels like really uh, big-headed to say, but they were attracted to me. <laughs> it was the first time where you know a show had kind of come to me, which doesn't ever happen. Um, so yeah, one of our writers on Tomorrow People is now an EP on Jane the Virgin, and when they were looking for their Macy, so you should look at you should look at Madeline. So I owe a huge thanks to Mike Schraft. Um And so when I did eventually read the script, I just thought it was really really fun like it made me smile so much more than I was until because I was a little bit skeptical I was like I don't know you know why is this such a big deal and you know how what is it that makes it different um but I was really really pleasantly surprised by I just kept saying it's really current and conscious in a way that I had not been expecting nor had I read in a long time um it felt like if people who like every now and again I'll go on Tumblr and I was like it feels like if people people on Tumblr got to write a show it would be this um so yeah, that, that was my, my initial draw to it, was just I thought, I thought it was a really good script. And so when I, I think I did a Skype with the EPs because I was in London. And I just said, look, even if this is the last time we speak, I think it's really great and I'm happy that it's being made. And yeah, like I hope I can be a part of it, but if not, I get, you know, <laughs> I just kind of left it like, to say thank you to them. I think it's really, um, you know, they have an opportunity to talk about important things. And yeah, I think it's great. So, so we saw a little like, you of you interacting with the other two sisters are we going to see the dynamic like are you going to be struggling of how you fit in yes or do you just kind of <laughs> no, slip in no there's definitely a struggle <laughs> um, both in terms of just the the initial like dynamic of, of being a, trying to be a friend and a sister mm -hmm. to these new people um, and then also within herself you know figuring out that she's a witch does she fit in in this family um, and she kind of doesn't have feels anyway like she doesn't have that much of a choice you know she moves into the house at the end of the pilot and, and she's now she's she's in she's a sister um but yeah there are definitely some really fun actual moments actually that some of my favorites to play especially between um mine and mel melanie's character because she's much less welcoming than maggie is um and i think maybe it's that we have more similarities than the characters realize and so they butt heads a little bit um but yeah, those are some of my favourite scenes because they're the kind of human, you know, it's, it's that sisterly bond that hopefully people will care about. Um, aside from all the fantastical, magical wish fulfilment, that's also great. But I really, I really kind of treasure those moments. One more question. How, how do you feel taking on such an iconic role um, that was, well, you know, Charmed ran for eight seasons and now doing the reboot and taking on these new characters? Do you feel, as an actress, uh, responsibility in the show to? 
um, to kind of uh, portray yourself um, in a way like putting like how are you putting yourself into the new role and does any thought go into how this has already been um, displayed in in the fandom with people who love the original TV series? Like, mm -hmm. do, you, do you take that in account when you're going into doing the show? Um, I think with any show, I always, you know, I try to work hard. Um, I want to do the be like the best job I can of the material that I'm given. Um, in terms of feeling a responsibility, like with the, it's, it's a new, you know, Macy's a new character, and so in that sense, it's kind of freeing because I think if I were much like I suppose if you're playing a real person, you know, there's extra pressure that comes with that, and so because we have a chance to create a new character. Um, I don't feel so much pressure in that sense, which I'm really grateful for, because I think it would be a totally different story if it were that we were just, you know, like start starting repeating what's already been made. Um, and whilst whilst we are, you know, borrowing from and paying homage to certain elements of the show, be that, you know, hopefully this sense of sisterhood and the book of shadows and having a white light, you know, those those kind of key elements. Um, we really are trying to kind of build build a new offshoot. Um, I hope that answers your question. Great, thank you. We'll move you over to the next.